already up again because we have a little more time and uh, you know this is an interesting story I, I got friendly with uh, Christopher's parents uh, Liz and Paul very active uh, in the uh, Lido Long Beach community it's a great story your parents met in, when they were in first grade at Long Beach Catholic um, fell in love and and uh, been together ever since but you have an interesting story you met Roberta Fiore from the um, Long Beach Historical Society and you developed a love of history and I saw that I, I noticed that being at the Long Beach Historical Society and I said how about doing a weekly segment talk about what it's been like for you so you started in eighth grade doing a weekly segment about Long Beach history what's this whole experience been like for you Chris it's been great. It's yeah. been really great to um, expand on my interest in history. Um, I've always been, it's always been my favorite um, thing to, it, it, I've always been so very interested in it. And um, I, the way the, that I got into Long Beach history was I took a class for um, Roberta Fiore at the Long Beach Historical Society. And from then I went to all the different events at the um, Historical Society and I met Howie and he, have me on the show and it's been absolutely wonderful and experiences have been great and talk about your um your family's history with the long beach boardwalk because that's a fabulous story in itself yeah my great grandfather john j mcdonald was a councilman in long beach and he went to washington dc to get the funding to rebuild the boardwalk in the 1930s um and this was um because the board book was in such disrepair that it needed to be rebuilt. Um, so that was, I believe, the second time it was completely rebuilt um, after the first time it, it was built. So that was quite interesting to, to learn about that and to see the history of the board book. See my family history in the history of the board book. That's awesome. And, you know, uh, when we broadcast again from a location right near Long Beach Catholic, the Grand Dell. Uh, hopefully, you just missed the last time, but on February 15th, you're going to get to meet the oldest living person in Long Beach, 114-year-old Goldie Steinberg. For someone that loves history, how cool is that going to be to meet someone who is 114 years old? It's going to be absolutely remarkable to meet someone who just, the, the stories she must have and the way that, um, the amount of things she's encountered in her life is just to be able to meet someone like that will be absolutely extraordinary. Absolutely. Christopher, uh, when did you develop your love for animals? I know you love history, but I know that you love animals. And, and I've, I've heard that it ex ex extends to more than just dogs and cats. You love birds and that side of thing. So when did you discover your passion for animals as well as history? It's quite ironic. When I was young, I had a great fear of dogs and I absolutely hated dogs. And then. Um, as I grew older, I began to really like them, and my um, and I'm not sure exactly when, but eventually I really wanted a dog for a pet, and my parents would not get me one no matter what. So I got a um, so to get around that and still have uh, be able to satisfy the love for dogs, I started my own dog walking company, and that's how it started. I think that's uh, really cool. As a matter of fact, I'm really, I, I think it's really cool that on the show now we have two ninth graders. And I always feel like it's, it's just like, uh, unfortunately, we've only had you guys together once, but our other ninth grader, uh, Ryan Selkirk, he couldn't come tonight because he's allergic to dogs, but he's done a great job with, our, um, with uh, the music uh, report. Um, the other thing I want to touch upon, because we have a little extra time, is that you did something over the summer that I was so jealous about, and that is you got to visit Ireland. You know, and I understand there was some great family history there between Ireland and Long Beach and who you met. Talk about that whole experience about what it was like over the summer to, uh, to visit Ireland. It was wonderful. I got to meet all these people who I have never met before and barely knew they existed. And I got to meet all this family that, that made it told us how when the, my relatives left for New York that they always said they'd be back and they never were and they settled in Long Beach and that's why I'm here today. So it was absolutely amazing to be able to hear how they how they met my relatives before they left. He did a great job on the show yeah. tonight. Let's give it up for Christopher Murray. Yeah. And uh